Hello, my beautiful subscribers, and welcome to Let Ebony Tarot. Uh, thank you all so much for your likes, your shares, your comments, and your subscribes. I really do appreciate it. If any of you would like to book a personal, all info is in the description box below. Please make sure you are exploring all avenues of information before booking with me, okay? Um, and don't send payment first. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, today I'm going to be, sorry. <laughs> today I'm going to be doing um, my Bay Booty or BS um, series. I'm in the mood today. I'm in the mood to see about love. So this series, um, I know I haven't done it in a while, but it's aimed to see, um, you know, how someone is viewing you, how they're feeling about you, what it is that they want to say to you that they're currently not saying. And hopefully you'll find some clarity on whether or not they're bay. It's a little bit of booty, a little bit of fun, or if they're on some BS, okay? So this is for air signs, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. I've already cleansed the cards and asked the relevant questions, so let's go. Also, please do remember that the energies can go vice versa. So just take what resonates, switch the gender, switch the roles, do whatever you've got to do. But what you're not going to do is come at me <laughs> in the comments because we don't do that over here, okay? Sorry, this camera is like annoying me a little bit. Okay, so the overall energy... The overall energy, my beautiful air signs, gorgeous. We've got old school, okay? It says vintage chivalrous dates, courtship, and photos. Oh, yes. And at the bottom of the deck, we've got call, okay? It says com communication news offers excitement and luck. So some of you are definitely going to get a call. Somebody may want to call you to ask you out on a date, to take you somewhere, okay? It definitely could be an Aries aquarius gemini pisces scorpio sagittarius okay but it doesn't have to be it can be any sign okay um it could be a libra as well because i'm seeing the ladybirds here i'm hearing like luck so i'm hearing like some of you are lucky in love you've won the jackpot some of you may be um talking to somebody new okay i'm feeling that real romantic vibes like that old school r&b type of love like you know, like when you just feel somebody, like I'm just, I'm, I'm getting this energy of like, oh, I just, I feel you, man. Like, I feel like you're real connected, especially on a spiritual on, or in an astrological sense. Okay. But yeah, I feel like somebody like, you know, somebody sees you or because this is the overall energy of how somebody's feeling about you. So they feel like you're somebody who, um, I just heard back to basics. So I, I feel like they feel you, they feel like you are somebody who, um, has a traditional way of viewing love, okay, and somebody who they can be traditional with, okay, so none of this new age shit where everybody's just got side hoes and side bitches, like, I feel like this person sees you as somebody who they can commit to, someone who's real romantic, okay, somebody who they enjoy communicating with as well, okay, so somebody may, um, call you to say that they want to take you out or like I said um somebody may want to offer a higher level of commitment or somebody may admit to you that they fancy you okay so this could be real exciting news oh my god stop no oh my god okay so let's see how is this person viewing you so how is this person no how are they feeling about you let's do feeling first how are they feeling about you Okay, so we've got, um, I embrace my culture and uniqueness. So this person sees you as somebody who's very unique, who's very different, who's very rare. Okay, I'm hearing like a rare breed, okay? I'm hearing they don't make them like you no more. And obviously, with this old school, I mean, you know, when you find someone who's old school, who's out of this world, oh, oh, treasure it, treasure it, okay? But yeah, this is real beautiful. This person also, they love the way that you dress, okay? So there's something about the way that you dress or the way that you look is very different. Um, you've got your own style. It's very creative. It's very bright. It's very cultural as well. They see that you're somebody that's not afraid to embrace your culture. So um, wherever you're from, you know, you could be Asian or African. It doesn't matter that like, you'll be wearing African prints, you know. You'll be wearing, like, if you're, like, um, Chinese, you know, they've got those beautiful... Um, those beautiful fitted like um, dresses and, and it kind of goes up to your neck with a little slit and they've got like the chopsticks in their hair and shit. Like someone loves all of that. Like someone loves, like so there's something real foreign or really real exotic about you and somebody just loves that, okay? And they love the fact that you're not afraid to be who you are. There's something to do with hair as well. Some of you may have red hair or somebody really loves your hair, okay? Or they love it when you wrap your hair, okay? So how do they view you? How does this person view you? Okay, well, that was a lot. Okay, we just want one card. Oh, 
I am a magician, so this person views you as absolutely magical. Some of you definitely could read tarot, or you could, like, um, you could be into the occult or something like that, okay? Like I said, I definitely feel like there's, like, a magical connection here, okay? But, yeah, somebody sees you as the magician. I feel like somebody almost feels like they're under, like, some sort of love spell, okay? But they just feel real, like, they see you as somebody who's very dreamy, okay? Again, I'm hearing something about the cards, like, um, gamble, like, um, what did I hear? Is it pull your cards right? Something like that. Somebody just feels like they 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 got a real one, okay? That's that's basically what I want to say, okay? But yeah. Somebody also sees you as someone who's very creative as well. Especially if you um you read cards, they think that you're very good at what it is that you do or that you have a lot of capabilities, okay? So you could be like real artistic, you could sing. You're very creative in some kind, but they see you as somebody who can make something happen, okay? And what do they want to say to you that they're not currently saying? Let's find out. So we've got, I am structured and organized here. So this is my Aries card, my Emperor card, sorry, and, you know, the Magician and the Emperor, Aries energy. So you could definitely could be dealing with an Aries. For Libra, that is your opposite sign, okay? And then, oh, We've got I am beautiful at the bottom of the deck. So this person thinks you're absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, they think that you're a king or a queen. Okay, someone is real mesmerized. I said something about your hair. So somebody likes your hair. They like the color of your hair or the texture. Some of you could have red or pink hair. Or maybe you had a phase where you had red or pink hair and they think it's absolutely gorgeous. There's something about your eyes as well. So your hair, your eyes, your style, okay? But somebody th is absolutely mesmerized by you. They think you're beautiful. They think you're captivating and bodacious, I just heard. That's gorgeous energy. But yeah, somebody, um, I feel like somebody wants to build with you. That's what they're not saying. Or they could be working on themselves or they're working on a project, okay? But I feel like this person wants to be real serious with you and that's kind of like what they're not saying. Maybe they're running away from their emotions or maybe they just don't know how to express this or maybe they're going to present this to you and this is what this beautiful call is about, okay? But um, yeah, somebody is trying to sort their life out. They're trying to get something in order, okay? So, um, how does this person feel about you? Okay. How does this person feel about you? I hate when the cards be doing all of this. Okay, so we've got versatility here. So, yeah, so somebody feels like you're... Oh, and sexuality, I told you. <laughs> Some of you could be the same sex, okay? But somebody, like, they just... They love the way that you switch things up. So it's kind of like you can look... You know, you can be all like like um, Erica Badu one day and then you're like Britney Spears the other day, okay? I don't know. <laughs> that was like way like... That was like in no connection in, to each other whatso whatsoever, but that's what versatility is, okay? Somebody loves the way that you can switch everything up, so maybe you switch up your persona. Maybe you've got like, not multiple personalities, but you know, you've got different levels to you, okay? And somebody likes that. And again, with the creativity, somebody thinks that you're versatile, like you're, you're, you're multifaceted. Also, I feel like somebody's feelings for you can like change. So it's kind of like this person can... um. I don't know that like they go from being real sexually attracted to you to in love to then confused to, to all over the place, okay? But this person thinks that, you know, you're very skilled, I'm hearing. So how do they view you? How do they view you? So we've got instinct, okay? So yeah, so somebody, um, and then we've got peace. So somebody here, um, like I said, some of you could be like, um, you could be empathic, like you have some sort of spiritual gifts here, okay? And this person thinks that you're well, you're, you're a good judge of character and you have a like great discernment, I'm hearing. Okay, somebody also feels like they're tapped into you, okay? So you know how she's like, she's following her instinct, she's following her, intu in in her, her intuition, oh my god. <laughs> when I get really excited, I can't talk properly, it's the, it's the retrogrades, okay? Um, this could be this person with you as well, like they're just like, oh my god, I don't know how to put my words together. But um, this person feels like you're real tapped in, like a, a magical connection, okay? They feel like, you know, you can feel each other's thoughts, so maybe when you're thinking about this person, their name pops up or something of you reminds them of you or something or so on and so forth, okay? I feel like this person is also kind of thinking like, you know, is this really the one? But it's like they're getting so many signs, okay? But this is really good. But yeah, somebody thinks that like you're, you're, you're a very good judge of character. Um, yeah, they think that you're, they see you as somebody who's real spiritually gifted, man. Like you, nothing can be put past you type of thing. They may feel like you're somebody who's able to read their thoughts. Oh, I'm a hustler. I'm a, I'm a hustler. 
this is what they want to say to you that they're not currently saying so like i said this person is working on something so they could be focused on their money okay again this could be a same-sex relationship but it does not have to be okay i don't know maybe this person is addicted to hoes or some shit i don't know but i don't feel i don't feel like that i feel like this person has got um businesses that they're working on this person could just work a lot okay but it's like you know you're real captivating to this person okay like you're all up in their mind they're just like have you done magic on me or some shit okay like this person is just you know they're absolutely mesmerized by you i feel like also somebody wants to provide for you so that's what they that they're, they're trying to this is what they're not saying to you like maybe they're conjuring up something like they're putting money aside so that they can get you something okay but yeah there's something that they're working on there's something that they're definitely investing in okay and then we've got resistance at the bottom of the deck yeah so this person could be resisting or trying to resist temptation or trying to resist you or like i said i feel like you are irresistible to this person so i feel like this person is like trying to work on shit and trying to build and work on themselves and then it's like here you come and they're like oh my god i just can't with you right now oh i'm feeling that energy Ooh. okay so let's see shall we so how is this person feeling about you how is this person feeling about you? Yeah, we got confusion. What did I say before? So it's kind of like this person goes back and forth about how they're feeling. Okay, her hair is purple representing that intuition. So it's kind of like, I feel like somebody is just like, you could be dealing with someone that's not really used to kind of opening up their emotions. They're not really used to um, being in love and shit. They're used to being quite secure. So they're kind of like, is this love or is this a fucking illusion? Like, what is this? Okay. Also, it's kind of like you may um, be a bit of a mystery to this person because, again, like you're somebody who's real unique to them. So there's something real alien about you. Okay, real Aboriginal about you, okay? But, yeah, I feel like somebody's also confused on how you feel about them. But, yeah, this person is definitely um, sexually attracted to you. Please clarify how do they see you. Family. So they see you as somebody that they want to be a family with, partner in crime, again, with the same sex. So I'm getting LGBT vibes real heavy, but this is not for ever. That's only for a small portion of you, okay? Um, but yeah, this person sees you as somebody who um would be a great provide, a great somebody who they can provide for, or a great provider. You know, if it's, it's if, if if it's the other way around, somebody who would be a good mother, a good caregiver. Okay, some of you, this could be a person that you've had a child with, or somebody sees you as somebody they want to have kids with okay or they want to build something with but somebody feels real connected to you okay and what do they want to say to you that they're not currently saying passion yeah i told you and pride gorgeous i told you that old school love man that old school love they see you as somebody who they want to commit to okay we've got passion here so yeah so somebody's extremely passionate about you but i feel like someone is also passionate about their money and about their grind so it's kind of like a head over heart decision here it's like oh you know i'm confused like i'm i'm, I'm mesmerized by you but it's like i'm working on some shit that i'm really passionate about i also feel like you inspire this person to be more passionate as well and to work harder on shit okay or somebody could what like i said they could want to offer something to you so they could be working on something to present something to you because maybe somebody wants to propose to you they want you to be their wife or like i said a high level of commitment this person you know it's a real um intelligent relationship that i feel like they're trying to resist but they just can't okay so let's get into the tarot, shall we? So, how is this person feeling about you? Oh my God, we got the Eight of Wisdom. I kept seeing that card in my mind. Yeah, and the Fool at the bottom of the deck. So this person, like I said, you know, her hair is tangled within her thoughts here. So this person is like, they're going back and forth and around and around. Like I feel like this person cannot get you out of their mind. And like I said, they don't understand why they, they're heavily thinking about you. Like with all this yellow behind, it's kind of like this person is real passionate and like real, like you 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 put positive emotions into this person, okay? Because you know, if you think about the color yellow, it's all about abundance, it's all about joy, admiration, okay? 
just straight happiness so i feel like you're making someone very happy but they're very confused here or this could be you because this is air energy okay but like i said i feel like somebody can't get you out of their mind just something is just going around and around and around and around and around but it's kind of like they just need to release you see her hair's tangled but she just needs to untangle it and just straighten things out so i feel like somebody wants to set something straight or they want to straighten shit or you're just somebody that just gets them, like, you 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 get to this person's mind, okay? I feel like this person is scared of, like, taking a risk. Because, you know, in this card of my deck, she's part of the tree, right? So she is a part of nature. Now, obviously, the tree gives us oxygen. So she's kind of scared that if she cuts off, you know, if she detaches herself from the tree, that she's detaching, like, her life support, basically. Because she's half human. But, you know, we are one with the universe. When we say, like... We need to rely on our higher self or we need to rely on the divine. We are the divine. The divine is within us. So she has to understand that if she's a part of nature, if she allows herself to drop and, and you know, go down that cliff and land in the ocean, she can submerge into the ocean and then become that element. So she can become a part of nature. And, you know, in my deck, um, you've got the ocean beauties that reside in the in the ocean in the waters So she can turn into a mermaid. She can be a part of the water like but you know She has to kind of it's kind of like we fight with our human selves because you know, we are souls, but we're living like a, um, a um, Human experience. Okay, so she has to kind of she's thinking to herself like can I take that leap of faith? So somebody you, you make somebody like fucking overthinking shit Okay I feel like somebody, yeah, man, like, this is, oh, my God, like, you're just, you're in my head, man, you're in my thoughts, like, <laughs> on, honestly, okay, so how does somebody view you? Well, look at that. <laughs> the fallen angel, oh, naughty and nice, okay, like I said, someone is like, oh, my God, you devil, you, like, someone has got some raw passion for you, but you make somebody all happy and shit. Okay, but somebody's real obsessed with you. This is what it is. They're having obsessive thoughts about you. So someone really can't get you out of their mind. And because this is the magician, I feel like somebody just kind of feels like you're some, like, evil magician or some shit. Like, you just put a spell on them. But, like, somebody is real, like, intrigued by your magical nature. Okay, they see you as a great temptation. Okay. So, yeah, hella passion, hella desire for you. Okay, and what do they want to say to you that they're not currently saying? Please. Okay. Well, that was two cards. But we've got Divine Feminine and the Ace of Pentacles wanted to come out. I'll just keep them both. So, yeah, somebody wants to offer you something here. And, you know, like I said, this is like my Emperor card. So, this would be the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. So, this person sees you as their counterpart. But, like I said, they're working on something. I kind of feel like this person is working on their um, strengthening their vibration. Okay, it doesn't matter whether they're male or female, you know, we both have divine, uh, we both have feminine and masculine energy, okay, but some people are unbalanced, so I feel like this person is trying to balance out their energy, they're trying to nurture themselves, and you know, in order to nurture themselves, they can then um, be a provider, but I feel like this person, like I said, they're working on a new opportunity, which is going to bring them a lot of abundance, but this person wants to offer you something, they want to offer you something real sincere, they just don't know how to tell you, maybe they're struggling with it, you're definitely this person's wish fulfillment. You're all dreamy and shit. Somebody could be apprehensive about offering you a commitment because they may feel like you're not going to be of... Um, they may feel like you're not going to welcome the offer. Okay? So, um, I'm hearing, is this love or is this passion as well? So, how is this person feeling about you? Let's go deeper. Yeah, we've got temperance. Gorgeous energy. So, this person just feels like you're real angelic. Okay, but yeah, they're hiding their emotions here. I feel like this person feels like it's good, too good to be true. Okay. But, you know, you're real in sync with this person. Again, this can represent um, reconciliation. So some of you, maybe you could, this person feels like they want to um, reconnect with you, okay? Or you allow this person to reconnect with their emotions and it's kind of just, it shifts them out of balance. They're like, oh my God. But I feel like this person thinks that you're real angelic. Like, like I said, you're something out of this world. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius as mentioned earlier, okay? I feel like this person sees you as a blessing or somebody who is real blessed, okay? So how does this person view you? Please clarify the fallen angel. 
yeah the empress of passion are telling you man i felt that energy the wheel of fortune so again somebody who's real magical somebody who's real fortunate somebody who they're lucky to have you know come into paths with somebody who they feel like the angels have guided them to but yeah like i said somebody's got this raw sexual desire for you they think you're absolutely gorgeous someone thinks that you're so sexy you're so creative you're so like i just keep on hearing bodacious and vivacious like that's how someone sees you man absolutely like just just drop dead gorgeous like just a just a whole snack a whole treat a treat good enough to eat yum 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 <laughs> so then what do they want to say to you that they're not currently saying so the six of wisdom here okay so yeah they're working on they could be working on traveling to come and see you maybe you're at a distance from this person okay but yeah they definitely feel like i said that you've been guided to them you see how all her spirit animals are like holding her hair guiding her forward from all that lightning all that shit like i feel like they see you as somebody who um like their escapism if you will or somebody that they can't escape from but in a good way like somebody who brings a lot of peace and tranquility in their life okay but they're definitely working on something that they've been guided to do okay and that's kind of like what it is that they're not saying okay at the bottom of the deck yeah we've got the emperor of wisdom here and underneath that yeah we've got the ace of wisdom so this person is heavily in their thoughts about you this person sees you as very intelligent as well this person could be real intelligent as well they could be real scientific and shit maybe they're just like like i said like this is somebody who's not really could be definitely dealing with an aquarius or someone that has an aquarius placement but this is somebody like i said before that's not really used to being tapped into their emotions so i kind of you know with all that pink around him it's kind of like you're allowing this person to realize what unconditional love is so like you've got this person in in their head man that like, for real for real so how's this person feeling about you like what is it that they want to say just give us additional messages please and thanks beauty i told you this person thinks you're beautiful this is so in sync man absolutely gorgeous you know especially with what they're not telling you they're not telling you how they see you with the empress card they think you're absolutely divine and just give us one more card please okay and your mind yeah this person is like your mind like where you going i told you this person may just feel real possessive over you as well maybe that's what, what they're not telling you but they see you as somebody who's their possession and again with that same sex some of you definitely could be dealing with the same sex okay and then we've got choose wisely so maybe this person has got a lot of different offers or like i said maybe you've got offers and you're just like oh i don't know if i want to take it or not but this that person is thinking about their decisions whether or not they want to commit to you and yeah look underneath oh my god it said you're the most beautiful thing i've ever seen so i told you man someone it just is like someone thinks you're real captivating man so that's real gorgeous energy okay um oh let me just pull this let's pull a love yourself card what do you need to affirm to yourself today okay we've got this it says i am never alone god's love is with me every step of the way so gorgeous energy so that's for you to say like you're not alone your spirit guides are here okay this person is not trusting in this connection they need to understand that spirit has joined you together okay but yeah but you know this is real gorgeous so if you like the reading please do not hesitate to like share comment and subscribe i just saw 2323 that could be significant to some of you toodles